We're on day seven of our 21 days of fasting and prayer and this week specifically we've been looking at the ways God speaks to us and the importance of hearing his voice and the significance thereof and, and today we want to just take a moment and and look at the example that we see in Matthew 3.17 where after Jesus' baptism we see God speaking in an audible voice for everyone to hear where it says, you know, a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Um, and here we see as Jesus is our example that we can hear God's voice audibly and that God does speak audibly. Now, in my time in ministry, I've heard of people hearing God's voice audibly. I haven't had that experience personally. Um, it's not the most frequent experience. But what really encourages me about that is the fact that, again, it just points to the fact that we're serving a living God, that He can speak to me, that I can physically hear Him if He chooses to reveal Himself to me in that way. Um, so may we always seek that and press into that. Another way I've experienced God speak to me, especially in times of ministry, in times of prayer, um, is that there I would get a word of knowledge through a sensation and or a tingling in my body and that's usually for me and, and, and in the cases that I've experienced that it's when God wants me to pray into something specifically. So those are two ways this week that um, you can press into tuning into hearing God's voice. Have a blessed day.